Ich muss jetzt wieder kann ich will zeigen. Ja, look. Ich kann es schon mal. So, we, people are joining now. Ich würde zwei Bigger wechseln. People are joining. Alex. Ben. Okay. Genau. Ja, du brauchst schon auch. Ja, die brauche ich noch. Kannst einfach nur wechseln. Genau. Ja. Das Buch drauf ist kein Problem. So, so nah wie möglich. Ja. Oh, ich ist dran. Ja. Perfekt. Gib nicht um. Gut. Und ben, I'm going to unmute you, so you can just say hi as well. Hey, Ben. I got now the message. The meet, uh, join the meeting. Do I do, do I do, to have some, to do something? I don't, I don't think you have to do any. Just don't do anything, basically. Okay, It's because I just got the message. Uh, <laughs> join the meeting. Yeah. How are you, Rudy? How are you, Tom? How are you, Alex? It's All good. So, can we... Uh, Yeah, this, the, the picture is distorted now. I'm a little okay. bit bright. Uh, um, I'm a little you, bit fat now. <laughs> <laughs> you look fine here. You look fine here. Oh, it's. The, that, so okay. what you just saw, uh, guys? What you just saw? That yeah, was uh, Rudy, Rudy's cameraman. Um, yeah. So Rudy, Rudy is so pro that he has his own cameraman. Hey, there he is again. <laughs> this is this is perfect, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I like it. <laughs> you see him now. This is the guy. This is the guy. This is perfect. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. We got uh, we got quite a lot of people here. I'm gonna admit some more. Uh, Leonard. Leonard is coming too. Leonard is joining now. Ah, I'm so happy yeah. to hear this. And Hansa. I, who, who do we have here as well? It wasn't me. Okay. Hat er gesagt, der, der wo, wo drin Robert, da wir, Nein, so Robert zeigt es auch, wenn er kommt. Kurz. Are you cool? Is it okay? I'm feeling hot. <laughs> it is hot. I mean, I'm, I'm very hot too, but yeah. Uh, Rui Gott, das ist natürlich kein Lärm. Aus wenn Kirche glocken wird, Leute, das ist nicht so. Rui Maximal. Nice. Ist. Right. Yeah. So, are, are, you, are you guys... What's going on? You guys ready with the tech here? Yeah, I'm just just gonna admit. Yeah, stay stay hydrated. Um, <laughs> good. I'm admitting a few more people now. Special mountain water from Zurich. <laughs> It's sea water. <laughs> He's drinking sea water. It's indigo. No, no, lake water. Fresh, <laughs> fresh water. Not sea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm right. Still improve. I have to improve my English. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's good. All right. Uh, so. Um, I think we we have people keep coming in. I'm just gonna keep admitting people as we go here, Rudy. But I think we should get started. So. Um, Rudy, just it's fine. Wow, I can Everything see looks some fine. More people now. <laughs> Everything looks fine. Yeah, yeah. I see so, now uh, four people. Can I come over switch? Can I come over switch? The whole Hello, hi everybody. <laughs> right, Rudy, are we ready to go? Ah, <laughs> ready to go. Okay. Okay. So, um, well, yeah, I, I guess uh, everyone knows who we are gonna talk to now. It's the famous Rudy. Okay. It's the famous Swiss Gene Streak. So, uh, Rudy, thank you so much for taking the time today to uh, to do this and. Uh, to talk a bit about what it is you do and why you do it and um, and show us around your museum. So um, this is going to be, uh, I think, very interesting. I'm um, admitting a few more people here. But Rudy, Rudy, um, let's, uh, should we just start with you? You know, I think everyone knows you anyway, but uh, let's just start with a little introduction. Okay, so, so, so what, it is, what is it that you do? I mean, with-, with the, uh, I, the, I will keep it short. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, a little bit over 60 years old, grew up in an alpine village, started geography, working as a geographer, and founded the Little Jeans Museum in 2001, collecting jeans since 1973, love mountains and denim, that's my two big loves. And I want to keep the Rotterdam spirit alive with showing people the power of natural denim evolution. Yeah. So, so, so let's talk about, that's something you always say. I mean, anyone that's ever exactly. seen a video with you or anything, it's like, you always say you want to keep the raw denim spirit alive. So let's talk a bit about that. What is the raw denim spirit? For me, it's to, to see the power of denim evolution from new to heavy faded 
I think that's for me the most interesting aspect of any kind of clothes we have in the world, at least for mm -hmm. me. And uh, it, um, main topic is also to convince people to go away from fast fashion with artificial distressed items. Just start with a boring dark blue canvas, break them in for years and earn their own personal fadings. So it's also more sustainable and longer lasting. And you've got really your own authentic personal fading reflecting a part of your life. So, um, so, so why, I mean, oh, I, I don't know if everyone's already seen the video, but um, that, that we did with Candiani a year ago, but, but let's, let's, do, let's just go back a little. I mean, because that story of how you got those jeans, those first jeans, maybe you could even bring them out those first jeans. I'm yeah. Good. That's, you already have them there. So, so of these, course. These are the first jeans that you got when you were, you were like, what, how old, 14, right? I was four, uh, 14, 15 years old when we got in a clothes donation parcel, those two, those two jeans. Uh-huh. So, so, Levi's so, from the 60s. Yeah. So, so you had, you have, how many is it? Like 10, eight, 10 siblings or something like that? Or you? I have you, nine siblings. Yeah. So, and, Three and brothers you, and six sisters. Wow. Yeah. So growing up, you, your your family didn't have a lot of money, so you you, you received some some donations from like charity, basically. Um, exactly, and in... because we were not so rich, uh, we got many clothes donations, and those were the first jeans. Because in the Alpine area, in the sixties, there was no jeans available. We only had corduroy pants, the brown ones. So the first jeans arrived from Coor, in a bigger city in the early seventies. We got the first jeans. So with nice. the close donation parcel, we had the first jeans in our little village. Cool. So, um, so how, how, tell me, I mean, how long did you wear them? Uh, in fact, those two jeans were a little bit too big for me then. So my older brother uh, was wearing them mostly. So uh, we had to share the clothes. So we didn't uh, had our, uh, re we didn't have really our own pants. So we, it was just, uh, it switched uh, with two, I had to share them with two of my brothers. Mm -hmm. and 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 then you uh, <laughs> i remember when we when we did that uh, that that movie a year ago with candiani and, and and we were doing the interview from where you're sitting now actually uh, i was just sitting across you in real life uh, but uh, but you would you would you, you you also talked about this thing with the uh, with that you sort of had this revelation are you out hurting goats or something what was that all about so you were herding goats and then you realized that something was happening with the denim i was uh, not a shepherd i was a cowherd cowherd I, that's I, what it was cowherd yeah i had a i was watching oh. the uh, like a, almost like a cowboy but without a horse <laughs> <laughs> so uh, i in switzerland the alps every summertime the cows are in the alps on mm -hmm. 2000 meters or higher and we had to take care of them and get the milk out of them and <laughs> making cheese, Swiss cheese. You know, Switzerland nice. is famous for Swiss cheese. Yeah. So I was there for two summer. And when I was wearing my denim and also sort of similar like denim, so it was more a beep overall. Uh, uh, um, and then I realized when you have, were wearing them, there was no washing machine there. I was wearing it for a very long time. I realized about the fading that mm -hmm. you get some uh, personal fadings without mm -hmm. washing. So that's how it started. I mean, yeah, I got raw denim addicted quickly and I loved <laughs> the original raw denim color tone. So I stopped washing my jeans more and more at the beginning. It, it was always washed because at my parents' house, we'd washed all clothes and just later I stopped more and more the washing the jeans. Okay, and, and, and what about the collecting then? When did that start immediately? I mean, because... Immediately, how many are, I kept I mean, all of my jeans. Like yeah, so the, yeah. the first jeans, which was my real own jeans, huh? 1975, of Wrangler oh. jeans. So when I went to high school, this was we my the, jeans. I, I didn't have to share them anymore. Let's see the front as well. Let's see the front. Okay. <laughs> so 1975 and and at that yeah. time you were then 26 i guess you must have been 1975 i was 16 16 sorry yeah i got a decade wrong it's a long time ago <laughs> 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 
it was uh yeah more it was 11 years before i was born so yeah um so you were wearing those jeans and, and this uh, was washed still washed by my mother oh, okay but it so looks it's good. sky faded blue nice nice so um and then and then okay so i remember you were telling me that you were starting to collect more and more denim uh, and, and at one point you had it all in your apartment uh yeah until 90 uh, until 2001 then it was too big in the attic and everywhere in the in the basement whatever everything was fill, filled up with denim so i had to search for a solution and then uh-huh. i rented a, a room and a few years later a second room those two rooms i have now here yeah okay so um so let's talk about i mean what is what is the museum that we what is it what is it that you're in right now i mean uh, it's just on the fifth floor it's not a proper museum it's just two rented rooms so one is more a showroom but still a lot of mess around i don't have enough space and which the you other can room see in is the a back. storage room yeah, yeah which you can see in the back yeah, there's a lot of jeans piled up obviously yeah we will show it later yeah 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 and um and I mean, so why, okay, let, let's talk a bit about why you have this museum. What do you want to achieve? Uh, I want to preserve, give the worn out, heavy faded items, uh, uh, eternal life, that people are, have the possibility, instead of throwing away their favorite items, they can uh, give the worn out items uh, eternal life here. Mm-hmm. And it's also uh, the only brand independent museum in the world and denim is one of the most used clothes in the world so i think it deserves a little place to still to tell the story about denim and even if it's just work clothes uh, originally it was only it was produced only for using to be used as work clothes yeah yeah um we, we got a question already we can just take a few questions as we go here uh, why, uh when did you stop washing your denim do you mean not washing? Yeah, when did you stop washing it? I stopped washing, yeah. Uh, really stop washing? Oh, that's quite many years ago. I actually don't remember exactly, but for sure more than 10 years, no, no, quite more. At the beginning, yeah. I was washing them very seldom. It's, it's, uh, just one or two times, and then I stopped completely. So, so um, a follow-up question. What do you do then? I mean, so but it's not a problem then because it doesn't matter if it's centralized or uncentralized, you don't care because you never wash it. So you you don't have to worry about shrinkage. Right? Yeah, no problem of shrinkage. I always wearing my jeans a little bit oversized. I try to sweat less in my jeans so I can wear them longer without uh, having some stinky or smelly jeans. So, uh, so how do people react? You know, what's it like at work? Yeah, I know you. So, so anyone joining in, uh, we we were talking a bit about Rudy's uh, story and and what he's doing, and and you and you told us at the beginning that you work as a geographer. So so and yeah. So what's it like? I mean, do people comment that you? I guess the jeans you're wearing now they are coming up in one year, right? It's your own jeans, and and they were launched uh, in September last year. So, so the, yeah. I guess are, are they starting to smell a bit? Do people comment? No. Not yet. <laughs> Completely fine. <laughs> because I have some tricks. I start the new jeans in September, October. So then it's the cold winter season in Switzerland. So uh, there's no sweat and so there's no problem. So uh, so Ben uh, has asked a good question here. Um, uh, and he, he says, uh, everybody wants Rudy to fade their jeans. So when it comes to your new projects, what do you consider? How do you decide on your next pair of jeans? Uh, until now it was just I just took something I like so I, there was no big deal like uh, when I started the Benzak jeans two years uh, ago uh, or three years ago so I just uh, start wearing them it was not a specific reason I just was thinking was, oh, that's not jeans. well I, I know there for that specific pair there was a reason because they were uh very much the type of denim that you like the most right it's a green cast it's uh, yeah green cast, per- yeah. Yeah. left hand hill so so you love that and that's what your own yeah. jeans are now as well so i guess that's the exactly. uh, reason i see ben typing again here but um but i mean i i think the you also i mean we, we've talked about previously that 
Um, I mean, you, you wear jeans for at least one year, usually two years. So, usually so you, two years. So you, you, you without I, I, any rotation. Many times you've said, "Okay, I only have ten pairs of jeans left in my life," or something like that. So, exactly. so how do you? I think my that's the life. that's the question, right? If you, I mean, uh, how do you decide on which those, let's say, ten pairs will be? I have still no idea. I have about 100 pairs on my waiting list, like an APC, an Atelier Ladurance, um, Pace. Uh, I've, yeah, it's too much. So I just have to pick up one. When yeah, the time we, has come. We could, uh, we could start a project where, you, where we give out some of these jeans to people and they fade them. But I don't know, you want yeah, to experience yourself. Uh, perhaps I should rent, hire some people for wearing, breaking in my I, jeans. I'm sure we can find some people that want to uh, break in some jeans. I see Elena is here now as well. So uh, <laughs> with the video, hey, Len. Um, hey, hey, you up there. Good, uh, good, good, good. I can see the people. Yeah. No, um, but let's, uh, let's, do a little, uh, let's do a little tour now. Um, yep, I'm ready. So um, this is where we get the cameraman action. So the yep. Rudy is on his foot. Take it. If anything fucks up now, you know you know why. First, you it's can a... see my current jeans, still okay. Oh, yeah. Showing the new crotch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of crotch fading. <laughs> it's nice. Just a second, I will change the screen. So, we are ready. Ready to go. So, good. Yeah, uh, this is uh, this is where I step back a little. So uh, yeah, best place to start the crotch. Yes, you're totally right. <laughs> Rudy, you uh, you do your tour now, and I'm gonna try to just stay quiet and and you do your thing. Okay, so let's start. Yep. First of all, when it has begun, just my jeans here. When I started wearing them, later, I mean, I'm, I I. I don't show all of them because too many. Mm -hmm. It was about 10 years ago, eight years engineer. ago, yeah. about seven years ago, mm -hmm. five years ago, two and a half years, uh, three, four years ago. This was my famous one. Hundred, a thousand and six wear days, right? 1008 wear days now. Eight? Okay. They are the famous iron heart jeans. Yeah. 2013 That's... to 2018. Five years? Uh, 16. 2016. Yeah. 13 to 16. They are a little bit faded now. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, yeah. And of course, never washed and all. So uh, Never washed. No. When I switch to this one. Let's go and see the Ben Sachs. Yay! Leonard is holding up your jeans. <laughs> they are one of my top favorites. You can, yeah. So why is this your top favorite? Why is this? Because of green cast and the special fading. And this, I'm sorry I lost it, Ben, uh, Leonard, but I still keep it. Oh, position specific. Oh. No worries. Is it already? Okay. It's back, my it's bad. back. I'm sorry. No worries, okay. no worries. The patch, I'm still holding it. I had to put it back. <laughs> <laughs> and these you wore for one year or was it more? This is 541 days. Okay. So a year, year and a half, something like that. Yeah, you see what talk from us. I can compare with the same one. So this is the same view. Get closer, Wood. Yeah. Just slowly closer. So you can see the you can see the power of green cast now, and you yeah, compare it's, both of them. It's very green. Yeah, I really love them. It's <laughs> 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 great. Okay, so what else do we have here? Yeah. We have some nice jackets as well. Or you, what do you, what are we seeing now? Uh, also jackets. What about, yeah, there's also the jacket with you on the back, which is kind of crazy. This is my jacket 20 years ago. Uh -huh. This is a 
13 years ago. Nice. And the other ones are here now. Okay, so we're, we're going in here and we won't do this. This is about 10, uh, 15 years ago almost. This is the last one, eight years ago. Okay. Until now. Okay. Cool. Let's go back in, in the main room. Yeah. How does it... Yeah. So Ben, he's on fire with the questions here. Um, he, first of all, he asked, uh, where can we buy your jeans? Your, the Rudy jeans, where can we buy them? These ones, these ones, where can we buy them? It's a secret. <laughs> it's very difficult for people to get them. They are limited and expensive. Yeah. So, so, uh, uh, so they have to ask me because I don't have a web store. They have okay. to email me or Instagram, direct message me or whatever. I still okay. have quite some of them. In, okay. Of the second run, first run is sold out. I have also or... from the first run still some. Okay. Not all size, but I still have some. Okay. They are 15.5 ounce green cast left hand wheel. You can compare with my current one. Yeah. So, so what do you need to go on? Your, yeah. So, so what's up with this, Rudy? Why do you still have the, the, the pocket flasher on? I want to see the pocket fading under the flasher. How much, how good it is. So how do you keep it there? You, you have worn them for 10 months or something. How is it still there? Yeah, it's uh, just uh, because I never wash it. So it's no big deal. It's just there. <laughs> nice. Um, then, uh, how, do you, how do you log your wear days? I think that's actually an interesting question. How do you know, for instance, that those iron hearts were 1,008 wear days and the uh, Ben Sachs were 500 and something wear days? How do you know? It's very easy because when I started the iron heart jeans, it was 31st of March and I was wearing them every day. So I just have to calculate from 31st of March 2013 until summer 2016. And when I stopped wearing them, only the few more days I was wearing, then I had to add the few additional days. Uh, good. <laughs> nice. So it's just because uh, when you are not rotating jeans, then you can. Uh, you can just do, yeah, calculate it from the calendar. Okay. Okay. You see also the fading, the honeycombs. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so Rudy, are you doing virtual tours already, or is this the first one that you're doing? This is the first one. I'm because super I it's nice, and and I know that people, you know, you you often have uh, guests coming. You know, people can uh, message you, get in touch, and you will show them around the museum, right? That's it's how it works. It's open appointment. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, but uh, well, let's go back to the jackets because we need to see that jacket where Rudy is on the back. That is my, I think, one of the, my favorite pieces. Ah, this one. No. Oh. Yeah, get close. So how old are you here? This is so nice. Look. This was 15 years ago. Already? Okay. It was, uh, yeah, you had, you had a longer hair, but now you have your, bi, you know, bi-month, bi-yearly haircut routine that people Half may year, have. yeah. Every half year. This is the same jacket. Oh, really? This and this is the same. When it was new, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, the, you see here the cigarette holes? It's still there, the holes on the sleeve here. But but why why are the cigarette holes? I got you, the jacket for almost brand new and some stupid. No, uh, not cigarette. It's from a bat, uh, battery, car battery uh, acid, ah. acid. And the, the, the man who had this denim jacket was upset and he uh, sold it on eBay. I got this very cheap on eBay 20 years ago. Brand new, just with these uh, little holes. Right. So the so, jacket so, has aged now a little bit. Uh, yeah, so uh, Len is saying... He never washed. <laughs> okay, okay, we got these questions on fire. Maybe someone should join me as an as, uh, interviewer. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> you you, you want to join, Ben? So it's it's fine. It's fine. I'm I'm gonna unmute you.
if I can. Yeah, here we go. Hey, here. muted. <laughs> Yay, we let Ben in. No, I figure I figure you had so many questions. So, uh, what was okay? So, so let's 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 get this one, Rudy. What's your favorite fade? Uh, is it stacks? Is it honeycombs? Or what, what? What part of the fade is your favorite part? My favorite is everything which is strong, even if it's like this on a denim uh -huh. jacket. I like this a lot. You know why this happens on blank and line jackets? The from sweat, Shri the woolen part is shrinking, but yeah, the denim yeah. is still the same size, so it's getting this or this. And I like also the honeycombs on the sleeves, and of course the honeycombs on the. Does that make, does that make any difference to how it fits you, though, Rudy? What? The, shr the shrinkage, does it make a difference to how it, it fits? Yeah, the shrinkage on the jacket, does that make any difference to how it fits you? I know you wear everything a size too big. And this you? is at least, at least two sizes too big. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's 42. <laughs> yeah, that is two sizes too big for a man that jogs seven miles a day. So I, I'm still wearing <laughs> another denim jacket below it when I'm skiing. So I'm wearing two denim jackets. Nice. Yeah. Okay. What's the most pair of jeans you've ever worn at once, Rudy? In the airport, didn't you wear like how many pairs? That time you had to bring home a lot of jeans from somewhere and you wore them. What the most of of small cars? The most one is this. No, 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 no. How many? At, ah, at the same the time. <laughs> the record was uh, five denim jackets and I think uh, six <laughs> six pair of jeans. At the same. <laughs> this was on the plane back from uh, Bangkok and one time from Amsterdam. I had too many items. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so too, too, a, too much <laughs> overweight. So instead of, so this is Rudy style, classic Rudy. <laughs> instead of paying the extra charge for the overweight, he just puts it on. Yeah, it's very easy. And it's very okay. easy if you have oversized items, then it's yeah. no big deal. But what do you what do you think what do you think the people sitting next to him on the flight must have been thinking? It's like what the fuck? Uh, all, all my planes, I, uh, it was very cold in the cabin, so it was no big deal. No okay. What happened when you needed the bathroom <laughs> on the flight? Sorry? When you needed the bathroom on the flight? Yeah, I was changing. I was uh, putting the stuff. I, I got rid of I got rid of some items, and then I had a big bigger bag when I was. Uh, going out of the plane, but nobody was checking the bag, yeah. the weight of the bag then. So it um, was just for entry the, the plane. Rudy, uh, Len, he uh, said something. He's also been to the museum. Uh, so, so he knows about those uh, four jeans you have worn by the same American cowboy. You know, you always, yeah. the serial fade, I think you call it. Let's, let's go and see those. Yeah, I just want to make first this. It's from mm -hmm. a guy who worked as a programmer in the Swiss National uh, bank. And he was just allowed to use the back entrance. Okay. Twenty-five years ago. <laughs> Crazy. He's a never bought big smith denim jacket. And this is another famous one. Ben, uh, Leonard will rem remember them. From Menno Scriber, from the Dutch guy who has worn them. And those two famous one from King Yu Lee from London, never washed, Lee heavyweight. This is what, never washed. What ounce are they, Rudy, those jeans? They're about 20. How old? This is from 2012, uh, 13 to 15. This is the 23 ounce Lee, and this is the 19 ounce Lee. Okay. This is, this is only two years old or three years, and this is the older one. Yeah. Oh, so, so these were th these also, were they're also never washed. So these were donated then. These were donated yeah. from but, okay yeah, because that's donated. how you let, let's, let's while while you go over to those cowboy jeans. Uh, you know how many how many donations do you get like uh, normally? Uh, uh, let's say on average on a year, how many pairs do you get? Oh, it's difficult. Uh, I never have calculated this exactly, but I would say not that many, perhaps. Uh, 100 200 it's, it's not every year the same no. but i got also some stuff very cheap sometimes from uh in older days from ebay or, or or on flea markets or other place so but many items which are donated they are just arriving here i mean and i mean 100 to 200 items the interesting ones the, uh -huh. the donations in general is is probably every year five six hundred but a lot of them is just uh, 
regular mm. jeans, whatever, like something like this. So I got the donation. So it's not uh, not raw denim. Okay. So this is but just a stretch Rudy, denim. If I, if I can ask you a question, Rudy, if you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, what's the plan for the jeans museum? Like, where do you see it being in 30 years? I hope that uh, I can get some uh, uh, fundraising from uh, governmental subsidies and from denim companies who would support this so we can do it in a proper way. It has to become independent from me because I'm fading away in a few years by myself. So uh, I want to have it uh, turn it into a proper museum without just a one man show from me. And what, what, what's actually happening at the minute to, to potentially make that happen in the next few years? Is it, is, have you had any luck? Is, are people showing interest? Is, you know, have you got a few leads that are going yeah. to allow you to yeah. make, make your dream true? Ja, was sind die, was machst du konkret jetzt gerade, dass du überhaupt? Uh, at the moment I'm still uh, a little bit busy with my real job as geographer. I will uh, be retired in a few years, uh, but I still hope, uh, First of all, I try to do some networking that people get aware of this place and about this uh, museum idea. So uh, this was also the reason of this birthday jeans to make a little bit of uh, some media work that people know what's going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also post a little bit uh, some items on Instagram. But I know, of course, it's uh, far not enough because uh, it's not enough to get enough attention to to get some money that people are willing to support this museum. So I have to do more. I think yeah, the we, point... Oh, yeah. sorry, I'm sorry, Tom, you go, you go, I mean, sorry. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. But, but yeah, this was also, uh, just to just to add, I mean, yeah, the, this was the reason that we did this whole thing. You did the thing with Candiani and we made that film and... Uh, and yeah, I mean, so... so when we... I, I remember a lot of plans for, you know, we even looked at some locations, right, for a museum and, yeah. and stuff. So, um, so hopefully, you know, we should we should get this going, and with the support of everyone here and, and everyone else out there, I think. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, you 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 might need a Ben in your, on your team, <laughs> yeah. someone like him. <laughs> I just think that I just think, Rudy, that you're you're not doing any of this for money. You're not doing no. any of this for profit. You're not doing any of this no, no, for. No your own game you doing it all it costs me every year 20000 euros 20000 exactly. euros yeah you spend every year on 10, this 10000 for renting the room and 10000 okay. for the trade shows for buying stuff whatever i think many maybe potentially what you got there the museum the concept the idea that you have is something that the community pulls together as a team yeah and yeah. makes it work. Maybe. I have, I, I, in fact, I should have uh, more, I should have like a um, board, board of members. So it's it's not uh, enough yeah. if I'm doing it by myself alone. That's, uh, I need more power, Mental. human resources and money. Yeah. Yeah, but Ben, we That's talked about this issue. as well. We talked about this uh, two years ago, I think it was. Uh, I know. Something like that. Yeah. Amsterdam, yeah. yeah. Amsterdam. Yeah, there's, definitely a lot of, there's definitely a lot of potential. Yeah. Uh, it is. It's a big market, the denim industry. We need, yeah. we need to, you know, but, but it's a joint, it's a yeah. joint effort. There's no one person, two people, three people, four people that's ever going to be able to do it. But at the same time, if everybody's behind it, it will happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Mm -hmm. uh, I can just follow here a little bit the items. Otherwise, we have running out of time. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I just wanted to say that we can go. I uh, like you, uh, uh, like you said, Ben. Uh, we can go on. Uh, I, there's no forty-minute limit anymore, so uh, don't worry. Ah. We have time. We we can have until uh, yeah the hour. So um, we have all, half an hour left actually. So plenty ah. of time, okay. and we still plenty need to time. see. Yeah, yeah. We we still need to see uh, everything else here. Yep. So let's continue here. This is a famous jeans big sniff. 25 years ago, I, collect, I, I was talking two or three hours with a Japanese guy, student who was uh, as a tourist in Zurich. I took a, a half day off of my work 
and they swapped them with a Levi against a, again a, against the new Levi's jeans. It was a never washed big Smith jeans. But this also from a American worker from the sixties. We have some yeah. stuff like here from a customized items patch, whatever. It's mostly a male stuff, but we have also a, a lady, a rocker girl. But this is also from a lady. She lost her boyfriend, so she gave the jacket here to the museum. <laughs> so they split up, so uh, he didn't like the name anymore. So it ended up here. I am not sure. Are these the cowboy jeans? Here are the famous cowboy jeans. So this is a classic Levi's 501 or yeah? 501. It's probably string to, yeah, string to fit. Unfortunately, the owner, uh, he washed them one time before. He was thinking it's too ugly to give them to the museum. So it's washed one time. <laughs> he didn't know that I prefer to get it original. You don't mind the sense. yeah. You don't mind the smell. We had a question earlier, and Leonard already asked it. But the question was, uh, how does it smell in the museum? And from I, what I remember, Len answered, it's like any uh, vintage store. I don't think it actually smelled a lot in there, honestly. Mm. But, no, uh, it's just a little bit from old clothes, but mostly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you so can see all the same fading style. Well, well. Rudy, while you do this, Len, uh, Ben has something to, to add now, I think, yeah. Uh, just so you know, Rudy, uh, since we just spoke about your museum, I know it's uh, not the be all and end all, but there's a lot of people commenting saying, yeah, we can do a Kickstarter. We can, we can make this work as a team and, mm -hmm. and Rudy's dream and legacy can live on within a museum. Uh, there's a lot of people supporting your idea, brother. A lot of people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, think I would so. love to to do something like Kickstarter or another other kind of crowdfunding. Some people already asked me, like Kelloar and uh, her uh, the, her boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, last year in Munich, they asked me if we can start the crowdfunding. Well, but I was some somehow not really ready. I privately away from this conversation. You send you send me some details on the finances it would require. And then I can speak to Tom and Amanda and whoever else is in team at that time, Alex is here. You know, like I can speak to them and then we can see how we can help make that happen. Yeah, yeah. This would be amazing. Well, you, yeah. need me, you need to send me the details then, Rudy. Yeah. We have yeah. to, yeah. we haven't got a clue. <laughs> and, and, I, and I think, you know, just also to share, Ben, <laughs> what, 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 uh, with, without the, sharing too much uh, of, of the details, but, you know, we were talking then also, okay, what is, why, what, what should the function of the museum be? Because it's, it's, of course, it's great to get it out, maybe on street level, get all of this sorted, get some of these things done. But I think there's also, Rudy, it's also important for you, you, you told me several times that it's important for you that it can also sort of sustain itself. That it's not that you, yeah. you, you don't need to crowdfund all the time. So you actually, you actually want something that is like a, a problem museum. Uh, maybe not, it doesn't have to be massively big, but it's something that can function and maybe people can come in and uh, there's maybe even some kind of store or that you can rent stuff. There's potential business models without it, you know, uh, you, you can keep you, yeah. your integrity and everything. So, yeah. so. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's a very legitimate idea. I think Tom, yeah. do you agree? It's something that uh, it's, uh, it, it's sort of the base for the, the community, you know, like yeah. we can do the, we can do the online global Denny man. Mm -hmm. and people can do their events in Amsterdam and people can do their events wherever they want. What Rudy wants is a bricks and mortar place. <laughs> yeah. You know, that basically appreciates what he loves and also, you know, it, you know, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Place. It's this legacy and uh, yeah, uh, comment here, it's a, it could be a resource for designers for sure. You know, there are mm -hmm. other, other places that uh, have a, a good businesses doing something like this. So I think, yeah, yeah but Amanda, uh, agree, keep it independent for sure. And uh, Reese is asking, is the contents of the museum documented? No, I believe, Rudy, you have, uh, how many of items have you cataloged? 
you know, where you, you sort them and you do this? Is it like a couple thousand you, you document? Uh, I only have to make the, the first sort of inventory about 2,000. And the, I have approximately now 9,000 jeans and 7,000 denim jackets. But it's not, I don't know the proper. Uh, that's only 16,000, Rudy. We'll sort that out. Easy, easy. <laughs> no problem. This was, uh, I mean, Ben, I so everything. this, like this, this, this is what you do, used to do for a living, right? So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is 40 ounce. Oh, you got those 40 ounce. Uh, you I should put them on. No, it's, it's an old one. Blue it's an old one. Yeah, we remember the ones we saw in Amsterdam last it's year. It's extreme dunkel. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Did it, Digital archive would be amazing too. Yes, uh, I, I very much agree. <laughs> there's uh, there's uh, an opportunity to digitize everything and uh, of course have some sort of paywall or whatever on there so you can go on. Uh, but, okay. Yeah. Uh, we, we, I, I think we need to talk some business after after this tour. Um, I yep. think that that's... Um, but but now we uh, so really what we see now is sort of uh, what do you say the main part of the museum. You also have your storage back there, and this is what blew my mind when I went to visit you last year. How much stuff is in there? So I think it's time we go back to that storage room and see uh, if you're ready for it. Yep. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Len. Yep. So here is a little bit sorting out the alphabetically the start the brands. That's sorted. <laughs> so this is APC B C Carhartt. This is Brutus from England from the 70s. Oh the famous Brutus. Okay, yeah. yeah. Show me show me those too. This is with the song 1976. When I put on my jeans. Yeah. From David Dundas. So here are a lot of banners, other items. Heavy Sumi, Iron Heart. There are many heavy faded donations like Mushkin. Oh. Cameraman is getting instructions here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The samurai jeans. They haven't seen a lot of water. So Rudy, uh, you you never wear shoes, do you? Only I have some nice sandals. Yeah, you wear Mountain sandals, sa sandals and and ski, ski boots. Is is that the only thing you wear? Also sneakers for running. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I love jogging. So here you see some heavy faded Japanese rodent in Whatever. This is a Pike brother. Germany. Some heavy faded, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of fading around. Nice. Edwin, also strong faded. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> this is from uh, Indonesia. Yeah. Extremely faded. Tropical sweat fading. Smelly? A little bit, not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> this is the old Levi's from the 50s, uh, from the late 50s, when the German guy made a world trip and he bought this in Baghdad from an American soldier. So it's a Levi's biggie. This is the oldest I have, Carhartt. Yeah, from the, uh, what are they, from the 30s? 20s. 20s. Early uh -huh. 30s and 20s with the old logo. Okay. Which they brought back now for the work in progress, by the way. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So we so, have uh, even for babies, for little ones. You can start uh, early. <laughs> uh, Maunus uh, from Sweden, he's asking if you also jog in denim when you run. Do you also have wear denim? Uh, usually not. I was doing this one time with this one. Okay. But then 20, tw 25 pounds wearing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm also not swimming in jeans. 
well, that the wouldn't make sense, right? Uh, except ski touring, then you get, you see here from ski touring, from ski touring you got this uh, snow crust. Oh, All everyone everyone has to go to uh, the gallery view and, and see Leonard's background. Leonard has a virtual background. You know, oh, that's so nice. <laughs> go up there. And I see, uh, Ed, you're in there too. Is that live? Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey. You can see the snow crust on all of my jeans nice. from skiing. Yeah, so you, you never wash them, but if it rains, yeah. they will get a little wet. I and mean, since you ski in them, they do get uh, wet a little bit, from that. Yeah. Okay. You see, I like, I always like uh, original raw denim evolution, like these nudie jeans. When it goes more to green cast, I love it. Is, is, this, is this your own pair or is this? No. Oh. This is a donation from Indonesia. It's not the it's not the pair that you wore as long jeans. This is my pair. pair. This okay. is my nudie jeans. This is my my jeans. You see this cover fading, wearing oversized. I always yeah. get getting these vertical stripes on all of my jeans. Nice. And uh, they are not so clean anymore. So. Uh, are, are you a celebrity when you ski? Someone is asking. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just ski. I do ski touring mostly. Okay. Off the beach. Oh, yes. Right, right. Rudy, this one is. Uh, yeah, we okay. go, China. This is from Child, his personal Ironheart oh. boss from England. Oh, yeah. The, the pre lawsuit ones with the, yeah, this, the, the axe yeah, exactly. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. They have uh, go a little closer words, closer to the it's with the red tab and accurate and yeah. Yeah. Okay. The page is pretty low suit. First three pre, sockets. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's go with just here you see this is the row of Levi's. Which one is a fake? One of these is a fake jeans. Well, it's a little hard to see from this distance, but... Uh, <laughs> it's uh, this one. It's from a fake jeans from Thailand. Hmm. Levi's fake jeans. Oh, yeah, okay. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, pretty easy. Oh, I have to go down. Yeah, those are the dolls, the Lee dolls. 50s, 60s, and here some pictures from an old denim store from the 50s, 60s from Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Ah, train tracks there. Oh, yeah, awesome. I get instructions all the time what I have to do. So, so in German, good. yeah, I could hear. <laughs> yes. Nice. So, I'll Okay. Are you ready, people? Are you ready? You only will see boxes. No, no, <laughs> this is it. Look at all those boxes. It's four meter ten high. Four meter ten. Stay, stay steady, Woods. Yeah. Great. See the boxes here. Someday they will trip over. <laughs> Eleven boxes in a row. <laughs> wow. I just creeped it. Now, now it's going crazy. Now it's going crazy here. This is my home. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See all the all the rounds. Yeah, okay, now. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't trip, don't trip over. Those it looks a little shaky. Uh, uh, it is. I have some climber experience. No, don't worry, I'm safe. <laughs> Just shake Honest. the jeans a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and while you climb down, uh, Mauno here is asking um, how you mend, how you repair your jeans, or do, do, Rudy, do you repair your jeans, or you do you just? I repair, them... yeah. Okay. Do you do it yourself? Yeah, by myself. Okay. Who's the hinder? 
I'm getting directions again. <laughs> hinter, so. hinter, yeah. <laughs> hinder, hinder. And Rudy, uh, why That's is it ba- why is it banana boxes? Yeah. Warum banana schachtel? It was for free. I collected them. <laughs> so so you went to like grocery stores and got free banana boxes, something like that. Yeah, I just got them from everywhere. I just when I saw them and outside in the street or something from garbage, so I just took them. Yeah. Oh, you, just, you, you just eat a lot of bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my secret love. <laughs> <laughs> so now Urz is stuck in there. You can't get out. You're stuck in. Right. In, I will live. Yeah. I will die in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, so Rudy, how many boxes do you, do you? I mean, do you know how many boxes or like a guess? How many are there? Uh, the guess is now because it's eleven boxes each row. It's about eight hundred boxes here. <laughs> and in the other room is about 2,000 items. And at home, I have a little private collection of 800 jeans. And then in check. And, 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 and many of these boxes you haven't opened in many years. You don't actually know what's in there. or Exactly. It's about uh, the first, the oldest boxes are about 35 years old. I started in 1973. So uh, it's crazy. This is a special box when it came back from. Germany. I still have to sort it ah. out. It was broken, so it's still here. <laughs> from uh, Blue Zone. Yeah. Blue Zone. This was from a Germany four-year tour from Berlin, Paderborn, okay. Dresden. I have a lot of stuff here. Not ready. Not enough space. Little kids' jeans from the sixties. Wow. Um. So I think Rudy, we have like ten minutes left now, and uh, okay. since we can we can keep going a little, but maybe if there's if there's anyone who wants to get on and actually ask you a question uh, with with voice, I mean I can I can go and unmute. So uh, I, I don't know how you can you can I think you can sort of like raise your hand or you can. Uh, <laughs> is there anyone who wants to talk to Rudy? Just say hi. Uh, write a comment or something. I can take you off. Satish, I see you. Uh, I, I, yeah, I saw your comment about uh, hemp jeans. Is that what you want to ask about? So uh, Satish, yeah, he earlier, he was also, we were talking to Merv from Okayama Denim earlier. Rudy, I don't know if you're listening, but we were talking about, yep. uh, hemp, <laughs> we, we were talking about hemp denim. Do you have any, <laughs> any hemp denim? Uh, in fact, I have. Brian, is that you? Dansi Gorsk. Oh, why that name? I. What the fuck is that? So uh, we can we can bring you on. Let's let's wait for the hemp jeans. Let's wait for the hemp jeans. I will. Okay. So he, he he sort of knows what he's doing, right? People, you can see. Uh, this, got, this is sugarcane jeans, but it it should have some. Some hemp in there. Some hemp in okay. it. Okay. I have uh, another one. Ah. So, um, Satish, I'm yes. gonna mute you. What, what, what's your thing with hemp denim? Do you work in the business, or what? Do you, why do you like hemp denim so much? Because it is latest new trend, so I am interested in that one. So, how it will be fed after washes, also? Okay. I, I will. I want to know how okay. it is. It's cool, yeah. I'm gonna I'm mute you again. If it. it's cool, and uh, Rudy can uh, find some stuff here, yeah. yeah. This is okay. Also a little bit of hemp but bit. I don't know how how many percent. No, but I mean it's also it's relatively new to add hemp, even in the, I guess. So. Um, I almost have nothing with hemp. Most stuff is just cotton. Yeah, like most of us, I guess. Yeah. Right. Um, was mentioned to hemp. We just go. Very ecologic. Cool. Uh, hemp would be very nice, much more sustainable. Yeah. Hey, right. Hemp, right. Much more ecological than a uh, cotton. We uh, we have Rudy. We have uh, Brian from the Indigo Invitational here. Uh, he's yeah. he's, on, he's on speaker now. So I don't know if you have a question. Yeah, uh, Rudy. Uh, a bird told me. A little bird. Very little bird. <laughs> 
uh, <laughs> told me that you might be uh, competing in the Indigo Invitational next year. You might be uh, putting it 365 days of steady wear. Uh, I'm, I'm curious if this is true. This is just a rumor. Uh, that's what I've heard. That you, that you uh, started. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I might have started myself, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but is that, is that true? Are you going to compete in the Indigo Invitational? And if you do, uh, what are you going to wear? And, and how are you going to, uh, are you going to do anything different in how you wear your jeans? Just the same style as always? Or are you going to change the approach a little bit for the competition? I just, I, I just wear my jeans for every day what I'm doing. I, yeah, same I, as I've done some artificial uh, special stuff with them. i just using yeah, very, them. Very good. Just wearing them every day. Same, there's no, no, no changes to the lifestyle or anything. Yeah, you, you're going to wear I, your, your jeans? The uh, perhaps jeans? I could take a break in another one from this. I'm not sure. Shall I start with them? <laughs> Yeah, well, start with a new, but you, but you yeah, need but, to wear a new pair for the Indigo Invitational. Amanda, yeah. you're, uh, you're unmuted now as well. No, they are still new. <laughs> those, those, yeah, those look brand new. Yeah, you get the, they, they got the pocket flasher on them still, so. Of course. Yeah, but you, so, so are the ones you're wearing, but yeah. Amanda. Rudy, I just wanted to say, you came running up to me once at Kingpins with this tiny, tiny little piece of paper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so nice. About four years ago, and I just wanted to say, I've kept it safe, and I'm coming one day. <laughs> it's, it's his business card. <laughs> it's still my business card. The famous business so dodgy, card. But it was amazing. <laughs> Did you get chocolate as well, Amanda? No. <laughs> no? He, he, must be out of, he must have been out of chocolates. Yeah, I, I must be uh, running out of the chocolate bars. <laughs> this is my famous business card. Since 40 years, the same style. When I started well, the typewriting machine of my sister. Great. So this is vintage, a vintage business card. Like you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm also vintage. I'm <laughs> fading, I try to fade away slowly, as slowly as possible. When, when are you going to dye your hair indigo, by the way? Is that going to be a thing? Mm. Uh, yeah, I could do this because they are quite gray, gray and white now. So I should uh, mm -hmm. go for a punk. You Doesn't could try. Perhaps uh, some blue indigo fair uh, on the. Ah, oh, perhaps I can good? just do some dippings, some dippings into a indigo. indigo so uh, box. we uh, we're coming up towards the end here, and Ben, I, I put you on again as well. So uh, I guess hey. it's it's slowly time to wrap this up. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we got uh, Brian asked how many cards you give out each year. Uh, do you know how many cards of those you give out? This one? Yeah. Of usually every year about 2,000 or something like this. On the street, if I see people, I'm just so that's, how, that, that's how we met. That's how we met in Berlin, I think, yeah. eight, nine years ago. That's also how I met Leonard, or how I met uh, Robin, or when I met everybody. Yeah. Always he, he, everybody gave, uh, I'm giving it to everybody such a leaflet. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, uh, the next thing here that I can advertise a little is the Sisters of Selvage. We have uh, some ladies talking denim and selvage in, in a few minutes. Um, we, can, we can keep this going a little while if, if, if you want, if you're cool with that, Rudy. But I uh, just wanted to let people know. Uh, I don't know, Ben, can we put the link in the chat here if people want to go over there? They have it on the, on the website. You need to go over to the website, yeah. Just go over to the website. The one thing, I, mean, I still have plenty of time. There you go. <laughs> On my rod and in bed. <laughs> I spoke to I spoke to Rudy obviously over and over, just same as you have Tom and just same as many of you have. Uh we all know Rudy, we all know we love him. We all know he kinda weirdly enough embeds the denim head yeah. persona better than any of us actually. You know, outside of being a hipster, Rudy is well, just look at that. It's yeah. a lifestyle. That's yeah. Point. <laughs> uh, what else do you need more than a rod and investing? It's really interesting what he says about his museum, Tom. And we did speak yeah. about this two years ago, didn't we, mate? And uh, I do think maybe we could do something because yeah. you, you don't want any money from it. You know, like it, it's just a nice thing to do. And I think we could probably pull the community together enough. Yeah. People here, are you on, are you on board? Everyone here? 
Yeah. Just... Be great. <laughs> I think we can make that work, you know. And then Rudy's legacy will be well that that right now where I'm looking at will be on his gravestone. <laughs> yeah. Will be carved in. <laughs> Hopefully, many years from now. Many years from now, he's only sixty-one. Or oh, he's still sixty. Oh. So many years. Uh, in September, I will turn sixty-one. Yeah. Are you still so running there, Rudy? He still yeah, would be fast. <laughs> How many miles, uh, Ben? Rudy, he was running seven miles a day last time I spoke to Rudy on a podcast. Rudy, are you still running every day? Uh, not every day, but at the moment I have a little surgery next Wednesday about my meniscus, some problems. So oh. I have to make a pause for three or four weeks I before think I can start running again. I think what we're trying to say, Rudy, is uh, you've got the backing of the Denim community to create this museum. For sure. Good. That would be great. Yeah. I, I need every kind, all kind of support. Good. I just can't say hurry up. <laughs> Before I'm faded away. <laughs> great. Right, uh, thank so you, I think. Tom, and yeah. Thank you, Rudy. For thank you, Ben. A really fun hour. Yeah, this was good. Yeah, Rudy. So uh, I think that's uh, that's it here. Um, we uh, it's now one past um, six o'clock our time, five o'clock UK time, and I don't know if the time zones all around the world from people watching. <laughs> but uh, but thank you to everyone who's been uh, watching this, and and uh, and yeah, let's let's make it happen with the uh, the museum. Let's take it to the, that next level. Good. We've seen, so, we've seen it will happen. Yeah. Good one. It happens. It's fine. It happens. Good. Okay, so uh, stay I'm going to stay raw and I'm going to end this now. So uh, go over to Sisters of Selvage and uh, yeah, stay in touch. We will be back later. Denim hang. I'm back EU Denim hang in a few hours and there's, there's tons more. So it's not over yet. Good. See you all. Much love. Okay. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.